Uh, right, we're streaming this now. Hello, people watching online. Uh, right, what are we going to do, Troy? What's happening? What's the trick? Right, now, I like to do magic based on sayings and, you know, just random things. And sure. looking at you right now, you know they say the eyes are the window to your soul. Yeah, they do. He's flirting again. <laughs> this is flirting <laughs> magic again. So, you know you can actually tell me a lot of personal information about yourself just through your eyes. Right. I could probably tell you how you're feeling. I could probably you know, yeah, tell you quite a few things. Um, I want to get really personal there. There should be information that I shouldn't know about you. Yeah. Like, I don't know, your mum's maiden name. That but that's weird. not really about you, though, is it? Yeah. Maybe your national insurance number. Yeah. Maybe your phone PIN code. Maybe your bank PIN number. Right. That's what everyone would probably like to know, right? My bank PIN number? Yeah, do you know what? There's no way There's no way you could know that. I'm going to... I'm just going to tear off a bit of paper here. Now, I'm not going to reveal your number in live radio, even if I'm right or wrong, but... I just want to keep looking at me, okay? Right. Just don't try to blink. I know your eyes will get strained slightly, but... Where am I? I don't know where to look at just you. Just look at my eyes. Okay. Just look at my eyes. Don't feel any way about it. I know they're big and brown, but yours are very I'm nice getting and lost blue. in them. They're the windows of your soul. This is freaking me out. There's, there's no... There is no way you can know this. Just keep looking at me. Am I meant to be thinking of my pin code or not? You're just... You don't. I can tell from your eyes. What? Okay. I've written four numbers down. Yeah. That bit isn't impressive. Uh, all pins are four numbers, Troy. I'm just going to show this to you right now. Okay. I don't believe it. That is... Right, okay. So he's taken a piece of paper. He's looked me in the eye. On the piece of paper, he's written down my, my pin number for my bank account. That is... Now, obviously, we don't want to release this information. <laughs> you can keep that to yourself. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. It's a weird thing because I'd want to turn it around, but it means nothing, it means nothing <laughs> to anyone other than me. That is ridiculous. Troy, how do you do that? So maybe you should wear sunglasses around me. Why have you not embarked on a career in um, super, like mastermind fraud? <laughs> Why like, are you doing a magic show? I like to use my magic for the good. You know, I want to help the people, make them happy. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Normally at Magic Show, you sort of applaud, but I just feel like, oh my God. A you piece feel a bit of, violated. I do. A piece of me has been taken here. I'm going to sort of applaud in a slow clap in a way that says, Troy, that was amazing, but please step back. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'll step back. That was incredible. Uh, so there you go. Lovely magic from Troy. My mind is blown. I kind of don't know what to say about that. And also, there was no point in me wearing this hat in the first place. I thought you were going to... It, it was just for me, really. Was I just, just wanted to see you wear the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I look quite good in it. What's going on, everyone? Make sure you subscribe to BBC Radio 1, check out all their videos, and click subscribe. Because I'll know if you haven't. Trust me. I'll know.